What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Boogie298 coming at you live once again through the power of the internet, and it's that time of month again. It's Loot Crate time. Is Loot Crate gone like adult on us? Because this there's like a there's a glory hole in this one for some reason. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with Loot Crate, Loot Crate is a monthly grab bag of nerdy goods that you can get sent to your house for a fairly low price, and each month's box has a special theme. Uh, this month's theme, I believe, is Artifact. So maybe we're getting an Infinity Gauntlet in here. I sure hope so. If at any point during this video you decide you want to get Loot Crate for yourself or somebody you love, go to the link in the description box below or go to LootCrate.com slash Boogie2988 and use coupon code Boogie2988. You'll save some money and I'll make some money, but no, you never have to do that. You can always just come back next month and watch me open mine. And as usual, a big thank you to everybody who watches this video every month. I really do appreciate you. You do keep these sponsorships coming. And for those of you who have pulled out the credit card and decided to become looters using my coupon code, no, you've really helped support me. So I really appreciate you guys. All right, talking about Infinity Gauntlet. Oh my God, does this box turn into an Infinity Gauntlet? Okay, well, save that for the end of the video. I hope it does. I hope it does. So starting off with a figure, and this is... No, this is not Qfix. I thought this was Qfix. This is Mini Epics. So this is a new brand. Oh, I like the figure. This is Frodo Baggins. Let's get him out of the box. All right, first look at this figure. And I have to say his head is, as usual, oversized. But maybe less oversized than your usual figure. No obnoxious base that he has to stand on. And he seems to stand up just fine without it. Decent detailing. Still very cartoony. I don't know, it looks like it's based off of a cartoon. Certainly not the movie, but I don't know. That'll do. I don't like how cartoony it is, but it's still pretty nice. That'll go on a shelf somewhere. Actually, just checked the bottom of the box, and he does come on a stand. And it's a clear stand, and this I like. This is way better than a big, thick, black stand. I like the little clear stand. It's going to look a lot nicer. I don't normally do this, but I wanted to show off the other figures that you can get in the line. I really think, again, Frodo is probably the worst one of the set. Look how good Legolas or Gandalf or Aragorn looks. Uh, yeah, Frodo might be the worst one. Gimli looks amazing. All right, well, if I saw these in a store, I might actually pick them up. They're they're actually fairly cool. All right, here's the thing I get Loot Crate for. This is the shirt. I get one in 3X, and I get one in 5X. I don't know which size this one is. Looks like the 3X. Oh, and it's Thanos on his stone throne. Giant pile of skulls next to him. Man, I just went and saw Infinity War, and I still... I can't look at this without wanting to cry. Oh, great shirt, though. If I go see Infinity War again, I'm going to wear this. Now, here's a tube, and it appears to... Be, oh, it's an art print. Oh, it's a map of Hyrule. Okay, I like it when they roll these up way more than when they fold them. Hopefully, this is nice. Please be nice. Please be nice. Yeah. That is really nice. Okay. Yep, that's suitable for framing. All right, that is a pretty great art print. I very rarely frame the art prints we get. They mostly just stay stored. But, yep, that one's going up in the house. I love that one. Then final item in the box. <laughs> and this is very weird. Uh, it's the Dark Crystal set of six note cards with envelopes. What? All right, my first impression notwithstanding. Here we go. These are the note cards. And, yeah, they are fairly awesome, actually. These are actually really cool. Now, the problem is they are an actual card, so you open them up, and then you just leave your note inside, and then there's information on the back about the, the stuff on the front. The problem is, I don't know if I'd rather hold on to these or sit... Well, let's write a note. Let's write a note real quick. Dear Loot Crate, why are there still Dark Crystal things in Loot Crate? It's not 1980 anymore. Also, why didn't I just email this to you? Sincerely... Boogie. I know this is one of those bonus items in there because you already got a cool figure, you already got a t-shirt, you get a poster print, and of course, you get the pin as well. Uh, but it's fun to make fun of it sometimes. I don't know what this pin is, though. Uh, the paperwork will tell us. Is that, is that the, the Holy Grail? <laughs> All right, here we go. It is, in fact, a chalice pin. Some chalices contain ancient and untold powers. We're pretty sure this one does, too. So it's not really from a, a, a license, but there it is. The Frodo figure, the t-shirt, the dark crystal note cards, the Legend of Zelda Hyrule map. And of course, don't forget, some lucky person won that mega per crate. Oh my god. Look at that mega crate. We never win the mega crate. Okay. Well, I was right, though. This did turn... 
<laughs> into the infinity gauntlet. <laughs> All right, this is my favorite thing about the loot crate this month. I like, don't get me wrong, I like the poster, I like the shirt. But yeah, that's great. But since I'm in such a Marvel mood, I decided we'd do a bonus crate this week. This is one of their more rare crates. This is the Marvel uh, Gear and Goods crate. And I'm really hoping we get something Infinity War related out of this one. And that's one of the cool things about Loot Crate. They're not just the basic crate, uh, which is kind of a mix of like sci-fi and fantasy and nerdy stuff. They have like, you know, these little offshoots. There's a WWE crate. Uh, there's the Marvel Go and Goods. There's a Halo one. There's a Firefly one. There's all kinds of crazy stuff that you can get. That's one of the things I like about them. And of course, I get a ton of different crates from them too, because uh, I love collecting this stuff. All right, starting off with a water bottle. Oh, and I, you know, I keep forgetting that X-Men is Marvel related, but this is a BPA free uh, X-Men. Oh, now you guys are going to kill me. Who's this character? <laughs> I don't know the X-Men that well. I never read them much growing up, only if there was a Spider-Man crossover. Here's a snapback. Wow, it's a little big on my head. I don't know if that's, I lost weight or this is just a big hat. But if I'm not mistaken, that's Magneto? That's Magneto related, I think. Oh yeah, that's definitely Magneto. Okay. I don't, I don't like snap. I do not look at a snapback. Look at my ears. Why? So here's a shirt, but this is not just a shirt. Oh my God, it's like a baseball jersey. Is this an X-Men baseball jersey? Am I now finally playing baseball for the X-Men? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> now whose jersey is it? It's just a random, okay, there we go. This is 3X, I'll be in this soon. It's Uncanny X-Men. Number 63. All right. Yeah, I love this. <laughs> I absolutely adore this. That is great. Two more little trinkets in the box. Um, it is an X-Men pen. Oh, it's the New Mutants? Very cool. I, that's that's a really cool pen. I, like I said, I don't really mess with pens much, but that would be the kind of pen I would use. And then there's almost always a pair of socks in these. Here's a pair of socks, and that is related to... That character, it's like female Wolverine. Oh, what is her name? I know her name. You're going to say it in the comment section below. I would look it up, but I think it's a lot funnier. It's Mystique. What? That's Mystique? What the hell happened to Mystique? What? Well, that's us month's Loot Crate unboxing. We did the regular crate. We did the Marvel gear and goods. If you decide you want to get Loot Crate for yourself or for somebody you love, go to LootCrate.com slash Boogie298 and use coupon code Boogie298. But no, you never have to do that. You know, it's just come back and watch me open mine next month, and I hope that you do. Guys, as always, thanks for watching. I love you very much. I'll speak with you again soon. Let me know what you thought about this month's crate in the comment. I love reading them, so let's see it.